Please welcome Bob Saget, everybody. to see you, uh, but I know you're having a rough week this week. I'm very sorry to hear about your dad. When, when uh, your dad my died? Dad, my dad uh, died. That would be the way to... God, yeah, that would be no... it, yeah. When, when was that? Last week? <sighs> wow. It was, uh, it was last week. It was last Tuesday. And uh, we had a wonderful uh, memorial for him on Sunday. Uh -huh. And uh, he just said, uh, go kick ass with your movie. And I said, uh, and those were his last words. Did you, did you get to um, say goodbye to him? gallows then? humor, which is weird. It's a very odd thing, because my family uh, didn't mean to touch you. That's all right. It's, uh, <laughs> under the circumstances, it's fine. Under normal circumstances, don't ever so do I it can, again. <laughs> you were kind enough to be with me. And, uh, well, I'll stay on one subject, which right, is right. the important one, and not uh, deny, deny. We, we had a very hard uh, time. I had, my father uh, is and was one of the most hilarious people and most wonderful people of that most people that have ever met him will ever know, and I loved him more than anything. And he had a very, he was 89, and uh, his name was Ben Saget, and he had the uh, same last name, it's coincidence. Yeah, that's um, uh, it's lucky. You know, it's interesting, I remember when my father died a year, it was almost to the day. Uh, which is odd, because you and I, if, it's, if there's an astrological thing, yeah, you and I are born on the same day. On um, the same day, May 17th. Right. Yeah. Um, and my mom told me that she did have uh, relations with your father years ago. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> it wasn't relations. They just, it, they, they, they drunk dialed. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I miss you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, uh, but our fa your father passed away a year ago. A they, year ago to mine, the day, yeah. died on the 30th. And what I found, actually, after, after he died, that, uh, that people were very ready for you to be over it before you are. Do you know what I mean? People are like, like a couple of weeks later, people are like, hey, hey, and I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, I, it's very difficult kind of thing to deal with. I, I still don't know how I feel about it. Well, and I, I'm a very private person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Let me yeah, tell you about yeah, yeah. my loss, millions yeah. of people. Yeah. Um, oh, no, 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 not on this show. You're all right. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Just these few yeah, people, yeah. This public access. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's put you know what, a man's view master. Do you know what I did to commemorate my dad? Is after, um, after a year, so just last week, I got a tattoo. Uh, to, to, I got the family crest tattooed on my, my shoulder. That's amazing. To remember. What is, is the family crest? It's a big kind of thing with some other things on it. It's a Scottish thing. Is it, but yeah, but, is it but, a bagpipe? Yeah, something like that. I, uh, had, I had a tattoo of a pipe put on my bag. Did, right, so the... <laughs> This is how I deal with pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but why, the reason why I did that was I thought, because I my dad hated tattoos. And I thought, well, I'll wait a year. If he doesn't come back, I'll get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> and to commemorate him. It's a kind of paradoxical way of doing things. It's like gallows humor. It's well, like, we, had, you know, we had amazing, uh, you showed a clip from the movie I worked on for a year. That was right. uh, Farce of the Penguins. And it's out everywhere on the DVD. And it's doing really well. I'm kind of excited about it. I kind of think my dad, my dad actually passed away the day the DVD came out, which is kind of odd uh, yeah, and, and weird, bittersweet, because he worked so hard. So that was uh, Sam Jackson, and the one voice is, where's that cabana boy? I need new towels, was Abe Vigoda. Right. He's alive. And um, my dad is not, but Abe is. There's no justice. <laughs> no. I love Abe. I lo Come on, I love Abe Vigoda. It's gallows humor. <laughs> it's gallows humor. To give yeah, you an yeah, idea yeah, yeah. of the gallows humor, my yeah. dear friend Brad, uh, like a father, uh, my dad was to him. He, like, my dad was a dad to a lot of you people. He would. He was very, very wonderful. Like he touched a lot of people, and no one pressed charges. But um, <laughs> I did that in the eulogy. This kind of person. Did you I say am. that? In, I, in did, the eulogy? I did. I did. Did you get a laugh? We got a lot of laughs. See, my, that... my friend Brad got up, and this was the kind of humor at the at the funeral. And he said, um, "Ben uh, passed away Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday morning, he had been watching Bob's movie, Farce of the Penguins." <laughs> And he but, said, know, please, someone turn this off. <laughs> and that was, and then I, I realized that I was responsible. But that's, you know, my mother the Jewish, laughs the Jewish tradition of, of sit and shiva is very much like the Celtic tradition of the wake, though, isn't it? That, like, it's not meant to be, uh, you know, miserable the whole time. It doesn't make any sense well, to be like the, that. Well, the Jewish people are miserable the whole time anyway. Well, so, so the Celts do a good job as well. Right? Like, oh, yes, yes. So yes. We, we eat a lot. There's deli. Shiva, I believe, translated means deli. So right, there was yeah, a yeah. giant... But the, we don't, the, the, the wake, you have the body in the house. Yeah. We don't, we don't do that because uh, we'd want to put coleslaw around it. You know, we would, um, 
I'm yeah. sorry. This is a... Uh, Gallows humor. Yeah. You know what? There are people here, and I apologize. There are people that don't uh, find this stuff humorous, and I apologize for that, because some people deal with death in different ways. Sure. And uh, our family just... We, we've had a lot of loss all yeah. the time, so... Um, well, the, the thing, I became quite rebellious about it when I, when I was grief-stricken. It was my grief, and I would deal with it my ways. And, and my way of dealing with it is very similar to yours. It was reflective, but also it was, you know, it was, it's the way my mind works. It's my grief. He was my father. I don't think you should apologize for the way you deal with it. I, I think that everybody's entitled to deal with it the way they deal with it. And it's, and it's your loss, and you deal with it your way. We'll take a break, and we'll come back. All right. Box out. everybody. I'm here with Bob Saget. We were just actually talking in the break there. The, the last time I saw you was in Las Vegas, Nevada, when we were doing the very, very dirty show. The very, very to... dirty HBO comedy festival, late yeah. night show at season. You were, he was hilarious. He came out and did about 10 minutes of just filth. And pure was, filth. And it, I, uh, I like to think pure filth. And it, yeah. was, it was refreshing. But you, uh, but, you, <laughs> but you, I have to say, are the, have got the worst potty mouth I've ever heard in a human being in my life. Me? I, yeah. No. There were times when I went, when I was listening, I went, that was not a cuss word. Right there, that wasn't a cuss word. It was like, I was looking for conjunctions I in, in I, there. I, I invent new words. Yeah, I know, that sound like cuss but words. But I've, I've done so much, I've did so much, fam I don't know conjunctions. Yeah. I've done so much family television, I'm just, I have Tourette's now, which is not... Uh... <laughs> Is that, is that what it was? Were you, did, was your act blue before you did? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, because I was, it, it, it kind of drives you crazy, doesn't it, to be clean I, all the time? I, well, a lot of things drive me crazy, but yeah, um, yeah. you were hilarious. That was very nice of you. And you committed to doing that uh, comedy festival on the air here. That's right. You don't have any job offers for me now tonight. Well, I'd love you to come to the Shiva. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. That's when you're very cold and you eat deli because you've lost someone. I'm really sorry. You Shiva. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I like to apologize before I finish the thought. <laughs> I, but I, I, I apologize sometimes before I do my act. I go out, I let the audience know that I'm feeling a bit vulnerable and I'm sorry, and then I do the act, and they forgive me. I, I apologize before the sex act, because there's, there's usually an audience when I do it. Right, Because right. I work... I'm usually alone. Really? <laughs> we really should call each other. <laughs> no, um, not at all. Not at all. Tell me about the game show. How's the that game going? show, One Versus 100, is doing very, very well. It's, yeah. They love it. It's like a hit. It's a Friday night, uh, 8 o'clock. I was on that time spot once before, years ago, but now yeah, it's yeah. on a... It's a whole different thing now, isn't yeah. it? Well, what, what network is it? ABC? It's NBC. 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 How are they doing? They're doing great. Yeah, yeah. And they... they uh, no, they're friends of mine. I yeah. love them. They give me a gift basket. Did, and, have um, they got a hat? C CBS gave me a hat. And, and on the hat, it says CBS. <laughs> You know, those For free, I'm talking free. All, the, the way... The, <laughs> the networks are such now that all the letters are color forms. They just come right off, and you yeah, can move them around. Move around color yeah. forms was a thing back in the day when I was young. <laughs> Was back in the well, you have this, this. This is what I noticed when I was working with you in Las Vegas. You have this huge young following. People, yeah, that are they won't really... stop following me. They're yeah, outside. No, but... <laughs> They're very yeah. young. They're hey, infants. Hey. As soon but, as they can learn to walk, they follow me. But they ha why? Why is that? You, you like you have the MySpace page and all that kind of stuff. I do. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. What happened was I, I did those family shows and people grew up watching the Full House show and yeah. then they found out what I was really like and cast members of that show knew because they worked with me. So right. in between scenes, I was like freaking out. But um. <laughs> I love doing that thing, but now I get to do kind of what my comedy well, is. Which and of is course, what, uh, the, the little girls go, Mary Kate and Osama, they're all, what are they now there? <laughs> Ashley, be... Ashley and Mary Kate. Yeah, they, they came to my uh, Farce of the Penguins party in New York. Uh, they love, what, they must be in their early 40s now. No, they're, they're, they are one year older than my oldest daughter. Yeah? Um, and, uh, which is, they all grew up together. It must be funny to see the attention that these girls get now if you knew them. I mean, you knew them when they were like four or five years old. Yeah, you I did. You feel very I, protective towards them. I do feel protective yeah. toward them. And, uh, and I, I, I love, people make jokes, but I'm like the first person that makes like jokes about people that are famous and stuff, but I don't, I can't do it. They're like children to me, you know, they're like yeah. my, I, I love them, you know, sure. so it's kind of weird. I'd rather make fun of, you know, uh, no one. Yeah. I'm, I'm just full of Yeah, love. that's right. You're just, you're, you're, you're America's perky sweetheart, Bob. Well, it, that's because it's cold in here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, but a, lot of, 
But you know, a lot of a lot of times when you go through uh, career things, it, people, you become people's joke. And I was the butt of a lot of jokes, and, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, and that's yeah. not fun being. And my last name, you know, it rhymes with a lot of stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was the whole thing uh, getting hit in the nuts with stuff. For people a long got time, hit in the nuts yeah. on that video show. Yeah. It was a horrible thing. Yeah. Hacky, it was. Uh, hacky, it was hilarious. Come it was, on, it was, it was hilarious. It's, it's enough hacky sack already. <laughs> But the, right. the penguin thing is is, penguin is thing, doing right. great. It's it's actually very very funny. It's an R rated. By the way, this is not for kids. It's an R rated uh, movie yeah, made I, out I of. I can tell there with the penguin and bondage gear, right? On the, <laughs> so that's a like, giveaway right there. Well, look, yeah. that, that's not right. Yeah, I know. I don't want to look. Oh, okay. Bob Saga, everybody, we gotta go. We'll be right back with Johnny Line. My first guest, an actor. He's a comedian. It's always good to see him here. He's uh, he smells absolutely lovely. <laughs> Please welcome Bob Saget, everybody. Bob Saget. You do smell nice. Thank you. You do That's smell nice. Like, it's very nice to see you, Bob. Very nice to see you. Happy birthday. Ha thank you very much indeed. It's we all, have the same birthday. We have the same birthday. It's not, it's not today, but it is. We were born on the same day, like... Um, exactly. Exactly, is it, you, exactly the same day. 1962? No. Oh. <laughs> May 17th. I was, I'm much older than you. How much I'm, older uh, than 1956. me? 1956. Do you remember stuff that I don't? Yes. I, <laughs> I, I remember the 21st hour of September. Is that Earth, Wind, and Fire? I'm yeah, not sure. I don't know. I don't either. The, the, I don't remember. It was I, way before my time. It was my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, uh, during the 60s, did you take your top off and everything? I did. I, I, I shook my man chest. Right. <laughs> that was back in the day. God, you smell good. I do, yeah, what, yeah. What is that thing you're wearing? It's a suit. Oh. Uh, Your suit smells great. Is it, it, it is. It's the is formaldehyde it? smell. It's actually Bob <laughs> so Barker's, you know, so that you get that kind of... Yeah, he's, is he is still in the building? He comes in from time to time, you know, right. to, you know, get dirt from his native land for his coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, open the door and yeah. put him back in. I saw the wheel. I was downstairs and I saw the big wheel. That wheel of Fortune spin. wheel? Yeah. Yeah, what, no, the, is that what that was? No, what's the other wheel they call? The Plinko, Plinko. Blinko? No, no, Plinko's the diddly deed one. What's the big wheel? The, di the diddly deed? Yeah, you, you drop it and it goes. <laughs> diddly deed, diddly deed. I do that when I'm alone in my room late at night. <laughs> you know, diddly deed. Diddly, diddly deed, deed, diddly deed, yeah. God, I smell so good. Yeah. Um, so how, how, how am I? I mean, how are you? I, if you I, I'm all right, I'm all right. I wanted, to, I wanted to talk to you about the play that you did in Broadway because I've known you for months and the. <laughs> No, but you didn't return my text messages. Yeah, well, you know, I, I pretended I'm... I didn't get them. But the, oh, okay. uh... <laughs> no, I, I mean, you were in New York. Yeah. You did a play. I did. Was a... that a serious play? Like was... Margaret, you killed Stephanie. <laughs> yes, I did. Bang, shoot, knock. No, I did. That is exactly what I did. I went like that. <laughs> like that, but that was backstage. But right. I went. Very nice audience. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very really forgiving. Nice. Oh, incredibly forgiving. <laughs> I did the drowsy chaperone, and she was married, so it was wrong. No, right. but she. <laughs> Tragedy plus timing is yeah, my career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did this amazing play that Bob Martin wrote called The Drowsy Chaperone, and uh, we did it on Broadway. What, what, what is a drowsy sh a chaperone? A chaperone is a who, person who is a drunken person that uh, kind of takes care of the wedding about to happen. And the character right. that I played was created by Bob Martin, Man in Chair. And it was a guy who had no character name, so my mother thought I had not a big part. Right. And I told her... Well, your mother would know she saw you from when you were very young. She actually yeah. knew. <laughs> She actually, I had a rash, and she she had to put an ointment. Do you want me to continue with this no, part? No, 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 no. So, and she was wrong. But, uh, <laughs> wrong. No, oh. no, that, see, that's where you stop, we right there. The and see, I there's will, the edge. You went right up to the edge. Now, walk just, away. I'm, okay. Okay, I'm on. No, you're right. Yeah, you, I am right. Nine am. things are loaded up that I will not say. You have, you have got, I've noticed you're slightly less filthy tonight than you are normally. Have you, are you, no, Bob is, Bob is filthy. Yeah. But we did, we did that late night show in I, Vegas. I loved doing it, Bob. And you were pretty, uh, I was ba filthy. Body. You were, I, I'm a filthy man. Let me tell you something. <laughs> First thing, I think it's the day of our birth that did right? it to us. Other thing, I'm thinking filthy thoughts about these people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Half of them in my mind are naked and it's not pretty. That's all I'm saying. Except for that dude. So I'm on Broadway. Hang on, hang on, I'm still working on this. Uh, the mustache. 
Uh, hey, uh, no, yeah, the guy in the mustache, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it could be any of them. It could be anybody. But I, yeah. uh, I actually uh, did that play, the Drazi Chaperone, to get back to it. Because oh, yeah, I'm trying yeah, yeah, to help yeah, yeah, you yeah, with yeah. my non-filth uh, mode that I'm in. Listen, I was, I was all over the place tonight. I don't know if you Me, saw. I know. Oh, well, geez. let's go out. Let's, let's go drink. Uh, we uh, should, yeah. I was going yeah. go, to say, let's go drunk driving. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> and I know that you don't partake, but we can still pretend. <laughs> uh, Have you been we, drinking? No, that's <laughs> crazy. We're, we're, we're role-playing. It's our birthday. Yeah. So, so I was on Broadway, and um, it's really my. Did you do jazz hands in the play? I did actually, because the character was a shut-in, an agoraphobic who lived through this 1928 musical that was fictional, and the play came out of the walls in his apartment. He, he narrates it's a, a hallucination, kind of. Yeah. I've had them. Uh, I'm having one right now. Yeah. You no, smell I, so good. I do. Do you have had hallucinations? I have. Have you ever taken any powerful hallucinogenic drugs? <laughs> Call this dead air in show business. But I Not to me, buddy. I want to know the answer. <laughs> um, I want to know if Saget takes powerful hallucinogens. Do you or don't I, you, sir? I do not, sir. All right. But I went through the early shrooms. 80s. You've taken shrooms. It, what? Right? You've taken shrooms. There was a pizza that got delivered, and it was a mistake. All right, okay. <laughs> and I, I snorted the chicken. Okay. That was a, what? A monkey that sounds like a chicken. How, do you have that? Can you play that? I oh, want to hear don't put a me monkey that, that sounds like a chicken. Right, please. Yeah, right, right, right. For me. Just for all me. All right, here we go. Uh, will you do the... the uh, that's Why are you shaming me? You're shaming what, what, me. What's more just for me? Because that's actually like my favorite thing. If a monkey really sounded like a chicken, yeah. I would buy that thing. Yeah. And I would raise it as my own. I, I would teach it to drive. Drunk and role play with you and me. Yeah, exactly. What about it? Craig and Bob sitting in a tree <laughs> with a monkey that sounds like a chicken in the middle. Cross that's, country uh, that, trip. That sounds like a movie to me. It's a road, okay, hold, no, no, no. You know what we have to talk trip. about? You know what we have to talk about the Please. benefit. Let's talk about the benefit. That's that smart. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is important. Every year, it's every year, isn't it's, it? It's been two years since we did it in Los Angeles, right. but we did it last November in New York. And I'm uh, on the board, uh, fortunately, of the Scleroderma Research Foundation. Right. Uh, this is going to be a, a segue of seriousness. Well, um, it's important, though. I think we should. It's all right. And Don't I really worry appreciate about seriousness. It's um, all right. I, I lost uh, my sister 14 years ago uh, to this disease called scleroderma, which is. Uh, this is an amazing segue. I apologize, but it's a thank you. Uh, it's a hardening of the skin, right. and uh, it can go internally. And my sister uh, was diagnosed and misdiagnosed, and then we lost her three years later. But uh, we do these benefits, and uh, we've done them for years. This great lady named Sharon Monsky founded the Scleroderma Research Foundation, and we have one April 16th here in Los Angeles uh, with John Mayer performing right. um, an acoustic set and uh, stand-up by Jeffrey Ross, my friend, and Sarah Silverman, my friend. I, I, and I, Adam Carolla is going to do the auction with me. And That's awesome. It's really nice, and we're going to try to raise some money to help put uh, people into a remission. And there's no cure for it, but right. uh, people but are But they're still working on it, and they need cash. And they need cash, right. and uh, so I'm out being the promo guide to try to help people. There's hundreds of thousands of people, mostly women, in the prime of their lives with it. And right. if people want information, I, I didn't say it, but I have a website that bears my name, my, my real name. Was, was Robert Saget? It's, it's Bob. But All I right. got it... <laughs> I got it through my girlfriend, who's a lawyer, so that's going to cost me. But she, your girlfriend's a lawyer? Yeah, I know. She's Crazy the best. Bastard. She's what adorable. the hell is wrong with you? She's smart, and her. Yeah, of course she's smart. And she's her... going to take all your stuff. No, she's not. No, she, she's great, and her oh. name is Michelle, which is Michelle, ironic. the lawyer girl. Are you nuts? Michelle was also the name of my daughter on Full House. That's not oh, awkward. Oh, that's at all. creepy. But yeah, I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. But she's all right. Uh, all right, we have to, Bob, we we have to, to do a commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we could uh, no, go on not just a commercial. You're you're gone. Okay. Yeah. That's it. I've had enough. I'm fine with that. I want, I'm going to go find me a monkey that's like Sounds a chicken. like a chicken. Bob Saget, everybody. Thank you. All right, well, let's, uh, let's have a... What? Who could that be? The director? Oh, Bob Saget! What? What? Bob Saget! What? Who's my daddy? Let's do it. Good morning. Sit down, Bob. Sit down, Bob. Bob, it's in an amazing uh, twist of fate. I was just about to do the Tweeties and the... Uh, I saw a great set of Tweeties on the way in okay, here. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> now, nice to have you back. <laughs> did, I did, Rebecca? I was out in the hall when it happened. Did she, did she run by in yeah, a hurry? Do you, not, you at least ran. 
I went through a book of matches. Sorry. No, no, Bob. No, no. I apologize. No, that's I'm all really right. Sorry, that no, was really Bob, rude. You, look, no. I, Bob, I warned you. Keep it clean. I warned you in our discussions that we never had. We didn't. Oh, we should have twitted no, them. I listen, didn't think. No, when we were at lunch the other day, right, right? And you were talking about the Twitter. I thought I'll give that a try. Right. And then I went on it, and I've gone Twitter you're, crazy. You're I'm, addicted. I'm, I'm I'm twitty. I'm, I'm going crazy with it, Bob. You're, you're twitless. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting. I'm punning on twits all the time. It's that is, it is a punsters medium, and you only have 140 characters, yeah, which is I how know. many people I've known in my life. Right. Anyway, we've got a, we've got a new. I think uh, I did better with the fart stuff. <laughs> no, not not. Please talk. All right. Okay. The. Uh, <laughs> 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 so what we do is we get people to email and uh, and now tweet the show, and then we read them out and we answer their their queries. Pardon me? Yes. <laughs> but we've got a jingle. We have to play the jingle first. Play the jingle. Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, blog and web, face code, twit zone, ass mode, checks the tweets, checks the tweets, checks the tweets. And also email. Yeah, you see. That covers it all. And at, and at home, yeah. Ass mode is a guaranteed laugh. Always gets a laugh at my house. Well, ass mode. And I'm alone, so it's yeah, yeah. fun. <laughs> all right, look. Uh, and they're, they're not two colors tonight. You've got no, with no. One. I've, I've, that's what I've said. It's all right. now. They're all the tweets and the emails are all mixed up together. Right. And so this is a tweet. All right, you ready? Yep. This is from April in Troy, Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, look, there's, you can tell it's a tweet because the uh, CBS have put on a uh, picture of a small bird. Small bird. <laughs> With a tiny little pecker. Yeah. <laughs> will, she says, uh, will you be having pancakes for Shrove Tuesday, also known as Fat Tuesday? Are you having pancakes today, Bob? Uh, I did not have pancakes, but if I lay in the right lighting, it looks like I'm uh, resting. Okay, okay. And the... Uh, <laughs> And the, I good, she, she went, what? And yeah, I know. So I think she's correct. She wasn't, she actually went to the bathroom to get high. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to actually smoke a bowl where there's a bowl. It's like, no, it's the wrong no, term. you don't want to do All right, this is uh, from, uh, this, now I'm doing an email. You see, I've mixed it up. I'm tweets. Yeah, I see that. Or an email. This is from Monica in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh -huh. Have you ever been to Albuquerque? I have. This is where this comes from. I did not know that. Yeah, it comes from the Rattlesnake Museum in Albuquerque. So this wasn't like a gift shop item. You went and... No, no, it was. Uh, at it the was Rattlesnake Museum. McCormack it... was there and she came to the show and she gave me this for free. <laughs> so this is really all worked out. Oh, yeah, so we were there free... this. Yeah. I, I've never... Uh, is that an asp? <laughs> Because you don't want to be putting your mouth next to an ass, but sure I do. It killed, killed Cleopatra. Cleopatra was killed by a poisonous asp. Well, when are they not? All right. <laughs> when are they not? Is there a commercial coming soon? No, no, uh, no, no, no. We're gonna, I'm going to make you sit through this. Say, say, when are they say, not? say query again. <laughs> Query for you. All right. Well, I'm gonna query for you. All right. This is. <laughs> Hello. This is from Monica. She says your new middle name should be Alejandro. Ooh. All right. <laughs> well, you're bringing uh, Spanish to this. Yeah, I am. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. This is from Sean in Newcastle, Colorado. He oh, says, I know him. Oh, you do? Yeah. Have you been to Newcastle, Colorado? No, I haven't. You've been to Colorado, though. You can I ski. Have. You're a big skier, aren't you? Oh, I, I was, and then I, you know, and then I stopped. Well, when you get to the bottom of the hell, you gotta. I actually, I actually had a man on either side of me helping me do it. It was that, and then you went skiing. And then, <laughs> and then we, then we left the room, <laughs> and we put more logs on the fire. <laughs> Sean says, hey, Craig, I've played video games for 53 hours in the past six days. Do you play video games? Why not? Or which is your favorite one? Do you play video games? I have. We were hooked. Our, my kids and I were hooked on Nintendo 64. More recently than you should say. We have a lot of uh, Wii. We do a lot of Wii. Oh, well, yeah. The Wii. The Wii uh, what's the Wii boxing's good? I like the Wii boxing. I still got Wii Wii, where I simulate urine. <laughs> 
in, in the snow. You so it's almost an Olympic event. Have, I, aren't you going up to the Olympics? No. Okay. Do you want me to leave? Yeah. <laughs> don't you don't no. you have to go to the Olympics right now? Yeah. Oh, Bob, sorry. <laughs> I know you have to go to the Olympics. No. You've got to ski for the second time. All right. Uh, look, uh, here's a tweet. This is a tweet. You're very tweet. funny on the Twitter, by the way. I you like the Twitter. You literally just started. Yeah, I just started last week. Yeah, how many of you got now following you on the Tweety? It's a, it's a, it's over the seven hundred thousand. Uh, God, I've only people. got like eighty thousand or something. But you've been, you've been accumulating fast because it's all I do is look at uh, what you're tweeting. Well, I tweet a lot. I, I think it's you know it, it's <laughs> the start of a relationship. You do it a lot, and then it kind of fades away about after. <laughs> Have you have you met any of the people? Have you uh, talked? Yes, to I did. Yeah, I went. I I, I went out to. Uh, um, I was doing a stand up show at the weekend, and I I met a lady who has my name tattooed on her neck. Wow, which is good in case you're with her and you forget your name, you can just look at her neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when are they not? <laughs> I, know, that's oh, what I, I, I want tramp stamps with my name on them. That's really? my dream. No, please oh, take that back. Saga. That would be great. That's a good edit. <laughs> you know, you say that we're going to cut that out a lot on your show, and then it doesn't no, seem to come out. No, we don't cut it out. No, we don't. I mean, we just we do it. There it is. It's live. How can we cut it out? That's a, the joke. I'm a, I'm a huge, that's the joke. That is the joke. Yeah. Can I read you this tweet? Please, sorry. The, this is from Elise in uh, New Brunswick in New Jersey. Uh, she says... Uh, I am presenting my master's thesis soon, and I'm very nervous. Do you have any advice? Mm. Oh, well, there you go. Now, that's a proper question right there. Um, um, did you ever uh, go to college? Yes, I went to Temple University in Philadelphia, but I, I wasn't that smart. Uh, I made you films, surprised me. I, I, I you always surprised me. Yeah, no. What, you made films? Were you a I did. I, I actually won the, the student Oscar when I was a kid. Uh, for, for, from the Academy from Awards? The, from the uh, Student Academy Awards, they have a thing. I, I made a film about a kid that had uh, reconstructive surgery, and I won the thing. What the, what the hell happened? How did you turn into Bob Saget after such a promising start? <laughs> um, I, uh, I just started working at the, the comedy store here in L.A. Oh, and then yeah, uh, comedy, yeah, yeah. and then made some films, but they were all dirty, so then I just kept doing comedy. Everybody, everybody is surprised. When I go out and do stand-up, people say, oh, Bob was here, and there was a lot of people surprised at how dirty he is when he's doing his stand-up. I don't stand -up. think I'm that dirty. Oh, I mean, you're pretty dirty, Bob. You know, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all my words, but people put on rain gear like Gallagher just for my talking. All right, that's enough. We're out of time. We don't have any more time Thank for you. God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Bob, don't you have to go to the Olympics? I'm in them. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. Hey, I'm really excited. No, no, don't, 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 don't be too dirty. No, I wasn't excited dirty. is dirty. No, I was gonna say <laughs> excited is dirty. Don't say excited. I'm okay. I'm slightly excited, and that's why I'm. <laughs> well, I'm not. But I'm and that's slightly excited. Can it implies half chub? Don't say that. I have a. <laughs> I have, a, I have a four iron. I have a half wood. I'm no, not, can, no, can, I, can I play that's through? That's dirty. I just want to play through. No, no you, look, you just know, plug you, the... What, plug? Do you want to do the back? No, line? no! I've got the show. It's coming on tomorrow, tomorrow night. Tomorrow right, night. right, right. Say that then. Okay, right, okay. do that. All right. Hey, I'm uh, uh, Bob Saget. That's pretty... That's pretty dirty. Uh, uh, Tomorrow night uh, on A&E is this new show called Strange Days, and there's, they're running uh, 90 of them, apparently. <laughs> they're running like 90. It's like 10 o'clock, they just start running them. And it's, gonna, it's a really good show. I, I studied subcultures. <laughs> what is that you're wearing? Excuse me, young lady, what's your name? <laughs> I'm Bob Saget. <laughs> I respond to that quickly. Yeah, I know. Hey, but it's tomorrow night. But yeah, I. Wh well, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm not like all the cool kids and on cable. I'm still on broadcast, crappy television. No, no, no. I watch this every night in a robe. In a what? In a slanket. A slanket? In a slinky. <laughs> I watch this with. Is a... Is that some kind of sexy thing? It is when I wear it. Every. <laughs> all my clothes are cut out when you're on. It's tomorrow night, it's on A&E. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what's the name of it? What's the name it's of it? It's called Strange Days with Bob Saget. You know, what would be awesome is if you could actually be a guest on the show and actually plug it like a normal human being instead of just coming in, doing your plug and leaving, and then leaving me feeling dirty. I apologize. <laughs> Well, Don't be dirty! But you said plugging it like a normal human being. Oh, Where's my see? mind? What am I supposed to do with that information? You have the same mind that I have. In no, fact, no, Bob. I have the same birthday you have. We do have the same birthday. We do birthday. have the same birthday, actually. That's yeah. true. Yeah, wait. No, wait.
<laughs> that you don't, there is absolutely no achievement in that. Do not applaud it. Right. Enya, Enya has, Enya the, has the same birthday as us. Let's do Enya. Bob Saga, everybody. Yeah. My uh, first guest today is a very funny comedian. He's a good friend of the show. He's got the same birthday as me. Except he's older, but he was born on the same day, but older. He's much older. He looks a bit older as well. <laughs> Please welcome Bob Saga, everybody. Bob Saga. Did you hear we were playing the Bob Saget music? Bob, Bob Saget, Bob, Bob, Bob Saget. I, I pogo to that music. Really? Yeah, with a pogo with no handles. Have you ever seen... <laughs> See, that, that's not... Now you started... Have you ever seen John Lovitz's stand-up act? Yeah, in fact, they roasted me a couple years ago on Comedy Central and he sang Did he song. do it? Because yeah. I want to see his John Lovitz do stand-up in Cleveland when I was there and he sang this yeah. whole song about you being gay. Yeah, 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 I know. He, he can dream on, but... Um... <laughs> I He's, think he really wants you to be gay. Well, he does. He's in a size C cup. I mean, he wants me to do the... <laughs> You know, I don't even want to give, I can't even give credence to it, but he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a funny guy, but he sings about me being, you know, like that, and that's not fair to the other gay people. Yeah, yeah, because gay like, people dress really they deserve, well. They deserve yeah, better. Yeah, 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 they do. So you're not, then? What? You're, you're not gay. I'm always honest with you and open. <laughs> Where, have you been, Bob? I love it that we have the same birthday. That makes me happy. We, we've happier all, than you know. No, I know. It's crazy, isn't it's it? Just it makes, fantastic. It, every it, day, every every year on, on our birthdays, Bob right. and I email each other. We do. <laughs> isn't and that adorable? I, and then I, I have John Lovitz call us both. Gay, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm always thinking of you. Your birthday is it's May 17th, if anybody wants to send Craig a card. Or, or Bob. Or, yeah. you know. But, although, Bob, you, you, the year in which you were born, when was that, Bob? It was during the uh, Prohibition. Yeah. And, and I've been spending my entire life trying to make, make up for that. No, I'm, no, I'm not. What? I've never made uh, alcohol or any distillery in my home. <laughs> Bob, I think you're defending yourself too much. Do you have an illegal right. still in your house, Bob? Well, I must now that I'm so gay. Right, yeah. That's a, I'm gay and I have an illegal still. <laughs> but it looks fabulous. In your pants. In your pants. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, even drink that much uh, today. <laughs> I never uh, get enough of you, though. You know what I'm Let's saying. Go, I mean, I, I... Are you in therapy, Bob? Oh, God, are I'm you? ever... Because you do something... therapy hands. I do therapy hands. I've noticed right. I do that now. Do you, do you want to know how in therapy I am? I see something flat, and I want to lie on it just to talk. This is a desk. It makes me want to just lie. That might not be therapy. That might be a love of surfing. Or a need for mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. You know, like Baywatch, when you're like, please talk. No, you know, you know, what, you know, I know when I'm going nowhere. No, I no, know, no, I know, no, I can tell you. No, Bob, a, no, I, let, me, let me tell you, there's you don't hate. know when you're going nowhere. <laughs> I've seen you occasionally. Well, that's commitment. But, and then I've seen you, I'm going, where, Bob, yeah, you're going nowhere. And you're like charging down that road. Yak yeah. yak, I'm Bob Saget. Yeah. That's comedy denial. Yeah, it's comedy denial. But do you still do the late night profane show in Las Vegas? No, I did it that one time and you came out and did it. And yeah, you, yeah. And you were fantastic. Well, I was very dirty because they said you've got to be as dirty as you can be. As but dirty as you can be. That I was the whole show. I don't think, and it sounds like a good ad for something, as dirty as you can be. Get, and then you can clean it using the, I don't know. I like the it. scrubber, the, the, the butt Crikey. scrubber. <laughs> By the way, if I if you saw that in an infomercial, you wait a minute, wait, Craig. Bob, Bob. No, seriously. TMI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, by the TMI. way. TMI. Let me let me explain something. The way his head is shaped, that could actually be part of the brush at the end. That could. Did that could, I mention I'm single? <laughs> yeah. Don't go after him, Bob. Don't. You'll break your heart. 
Well, he's, I'm talking to a skull. <laughs> I do it every night. It's awesome. <laughs> now, listen, you don't do the dirty show in Vegas Why right not? No, no. I, my, all my shows are... I'm not that dirty. I, I did family television, so people will see me. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> I mean, I'm out on the road, you know, I love doing stand-up. You love doing stand-up. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. left you a note at the Warner Theater. I got it. Thanks very much. And then I called you. You didn't get me. I called you. you I gave Bob, you... I'm not gay, but thanks for the note. No, I thought, <laughs> no, you tweeted me, and okay. then I thought you said you were gay, and I was all happy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now, where do I come into editing tomorrow to fix this? <laughs> <laughs> There's no editing on a live show, Bob. Damn. So... But so, so I left you a note, and, and uh, that was very interesting. That night, when I played the Warner Theater, I had been doing this show called Strange Days, and these motorcycle people came from the Iron Order Motorcycle Club to my show, and 100 Harleys were parked out front of the Warner Theater in Washington. Ooh. Didn't you love that theater? I did. It's a very nice theater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that your favorite theater to play in the country? I think uh, one of them. I like dinner theaters because the food is right there. Um, you can act well, I don't know what dinner theater is. is well, it, is it like a, a comedy thing. club? They just people. No, it was like you know, back in the in the day, you could go see a play like a chorus line, and it'd be like going to medieval times, and you'd be able to. Eat. I love medieval times. How do you not? I love medieval times. Right? And yeah. then you, you eat prime rib while people joust. Yeah. And you throw your bones. That's dinner theater. Throw your bones. <laughs> There's a skull yeah, right yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, your bones. Yeah. No, I, have you ever been to Medieval Times? Yes, I have, actually. Uh, John Stamos and Dave Coulier took me... John Stamos from Full House. Uh, the, the <laughs> Not familiar with the gentleman, no. Took me, took me to Medieval Times, and we sat in this tinfoil, and you eat... Uh, I've been there. I, I've been. I went with kids, though. That's why I was there. I wasn't well, there with John Stamos. Well, you know, I, <laughs> We were, at the time, we were on Full House. It was very similar to taking children. Really? Yeah, it was, it, it was. That must have caused a big kerfuffle. And, uh... <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah. you know, when, when you're eating uh, uh, ribs and chicken and stuff, and then a man comes toward you with a long Lancelot. Uh... We, we still talking about medieval times? <laughs> no, I'm talking about uh, the, uh, that other thing uh, that... Uh, did Not, you have a good time on that Strange Days with Bob Sackett? Very much so. I met a lot of really cool people, and uh, I still talk to some of them. I, I joined a frat at Cornell, which was very, very cool. Uh, an honorary frat member of this thing called the Seal and Serpent. <laughs> if, I, if I'm on your show, knowing you and knowing how you think, and I say Seal and Serpent, mm. that's the name of a frat at Cornell, but, but you and I both hear Seal and Serpent. We just go to that place. Am I wrong? I blame our birthday. <laughs> I think people born on May 17th are naturally dirty-minded, naughty, naughty boys. <laughs> Including Enya. Enya. Yeah, because when, she, when she's doing that, ho ha he ho ha he, yeah, it she's really like... thinking about boobies and other things that are dirty. It sounds, it, it sounds like she's being worked like a puppet. It does sound... Poopies and other things that are dirty. No, 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 now, no why poopies. The, I, didn't, I didn't say poopies. I said, they did, no, boobies. Boobies. Boobies, boobies yeah. So why was I work like a puppet so much more horrible? I, I submit to the jury. Well, why the, thing is is, the thing is, Bob, what's happening is that people are now expect you to be dirty, and even but, when you're not, they think you are. It's like people expect me to be Scottish. I'm actually not. What, what, what are you? Spanish. <laughs> I, I get where you're coming from. Do you? Coming from, coming Spain. from Spain. Spain. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to Spain, Bob? No, but I kind of like the music. <laughs> I want to go there. Spain? What, you, what countries uh, have you been to, Bob, outside of Canada? Well, Canada. Okay. I've been to uh, Mexico. Ah, it's a very popular country. Been to Italy. Italy, you say? What did you do in Italy? Did you enjoy the pasta? Like, you don't remember what we did there. <laughs> it was a magical time. It was. I, 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 I took you through Venice on a gondola. And then we went to Italy. <laughs> we, we were just up the PCH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I what drove were you doing in Italy? Were you, were you with a girl? Pardon me? Were you with a girl? No, I, I was with a horse. I, no, I, I... You were with a horse? Yes, I You did. took a horse to Italy? At that time... Wait a minute, not! <laughs> Secretary! I have great news. You, know, you have the, won a Team Secretariat t-shirt. This is, you know, I planned that. Yeah. That's fantastic. I will, I will wear this. Yeah, you, you can have it. It's free and, and it's, it's actually Disney gave them out when they did the movie and we got a bunch of free t-shirts so we thought we could use them on the show. <laughs>
this has been places, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, what? Yeah, horse. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a real horse, right? What are you talking about? Uh, that's what I took to Italy with me, that kind of thing. <laughs> no, yeah. You've, you, I think you've had me here way too long. That's what I think. For you. For your, for, I'm thinking for you. You mean tonight? No, just in general. <laughs> what are you going to do right after you leave here? Where, where are you going? I mean, where are you going? Tonight? Yeah, exactly. When you leave here tonight. Strip club? You know, we're Second job? What, do you, do you... They call me Black Velvet. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome Black Velvet. Sound familiar, Bob? That's right, Actually, Bob. What about these, Bob? Look familiar, Bob? Oh, my God. Bob, Bob, maybe you recognize them more now, Bob, do you? Thank you. Leave me alone. All right. Leave these me are, alone. These are, worst stripper in the world. Leave me Here's two bucks. Leave me alone. No, that's, how, that's how I approach, approach strippers. Please, okay. I was on Full House. I'm really sorry. You yeah, really? No, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't subscribe. But, but if you were Black Velvet, I would, I'd like to paint you, actually. I never, you know, I know Black Velvet, like the kind you would buy, like, you know, those, those bullfight paintings, those beautiful, like if you were in a matador thing, because you've been to Spain, right? My are in awkward pause, Bob. <laughs> That's the first, thank God you called it. Mine's all going to awkward pause. Pardon me? Well, when we finish up, I like to finish up either with... Oh, oh I know this, yes, yeah, sorry. Right. sorry. Um, um, what do you prefer? Does anyone ever ask you? You know, thanks, Bob. <laughs> I think tonight I'd like to go with... Both. <laughs> it's never been done. <laughs> awkward mouth organ. <laughs> well, that's... In, uh, no, in, 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 just throw it in, throw it in. An awkward mouth organ in my life is redundant. <laughs> Here's a fresh one we had prepared earlier. Right. Oh, it's getting awkward already, Bob. Look at that. <laughs> it's almost like you don't know how to unwrap that. What organ. are these? Are these Zippos? What are these? That's uh, what you do is, do you enjoy the marijuana, Bob? No, no, no. Because you can just roll your no, marijuana. I, like to, I do like to reference it, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I roll it up like that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Awkward mouth organ pause. All right. I saw your lips moving away. I hoped I'd never see them move. It's like an Abe Vigoda moment. <laughs> they just went... Hey, hey, alien, hey. alien extension <laughs> at a buffet. And my aunt looking for lox and bagels. <laughs> searching. It was like a wildlife documentary. <laughs> All right. says, you can't see this on cable. Yeah, yeah that's why people pay for it. <laughs> Bob Saget, everybody, Bob Saget, Nice to see that here. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And then oh, the, the future of the glue factory right over hey, there. Hey, don't say mean things. Also, I not know. a real horse. That is not a real horse. Not a real horse. That's actually a very, it's a, uh, it's a crip and a blood it's a inside the same horse. <laughs> and they take turns. It's my effort to bring peace to the gang wars of Los Angeles. It's a beautiful thing. So there's yeah. a conflict of interest, so like arm wrestling or something. So anyway. <laughs> It's nice. It's a. Uh, it's, it's nice. A, it's I nice. I thought it was a puppet. I thought, but that was years ago when you did puppets. But yeah, I was I'd... watching late on night. I had like a cold. I was on Nyquil, and I said, "Boy, those puppets got big." But it was that. <laughs> it was that two guy beautiful thing happening? Do you like a two guy beautiful thing, Bob? <laughs> if the price is right. Where's Drew? <laughs>
<laughs> He's behind the curtain, I Bob. Saw, He's behind the curtain. Yeah. I saw that. No, I, we got a tiny little Drew Carey. Now, listen, Drew Carey got really thin, man. He's thinner than you or me now. I think it's amazing. I knew him when he started, and he was bigger then, and his tie used to stick straight up. With yeah, those. that's right. His tie used to lie. No, his, no. His, it it's true. Then. His tie used to lie flat on his belly. It yeah, just yeah. like was straight up. Well, he had a string, and it would make it go like that. Oh, he did? I, yeah, I think Did he, he have a prop? I stick. I think it, it was a prop. Yeah, a prop. Did you ever have props when you started? I had a guitar that leaked water. I, uh, <laughs> I sang, this is so bad. I'm really glad you brought it up. Um, <laughs> I sang While my, my, my Guitar Gently Weeps, George Harrison Beatles song, and I had a shampoo bottle rigged up with a hose behind this crappy guitar, and I sang it. It's an amazing song, and I couldn't have been worse done by a civilian than myself. And I turned the valve and water poured water out, come out of the guitar. all over my pants, and then I would try to do it in my like big venues, like a couple thousand people, and no one could see it because it's just a little bit of trickling water. So, wasn't good. It sounds like a good joke to me, and I think I'd like to see it tonight. I, no, 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 wait. Yeah. Not gonna I, can, I can do it without the guitar, but I'll need to drink five gallons of water first. Nah, nah, it's no. fine. It's all right. Hey, I haven't seen you since last week. And you are nice. And no. I'm telling you, no, he really is nice. I had a benefit. Uh, for scleroderma uh, research? I, yeah. Scleroderma Research Foundation. <laughs> I had lost a sister to this disease about 18 years ago, and you were kind enough to right away say yes, you would do it, and you were hilarious. You did, you did 20 minutes of... Did I do 20 minutes? You did, and... and Sorry uh, about that. I was meant no. to do 10. I... <laughs> And then you sang What's Love Got to Do With It. It was amazing. Yeah. Bob, I don't think that was me. And I, oh, yeah, oh, I, oh, that was RuPaul. RuPaul, yeah. No, but, but you... Uh, were you always so think I'm RuPaul because I'm European, but that's not the case. I'm not. <laughs> I thought you said almost poo Paul or you're a pooin. <laughs> And that doesn't make any. That makes think, less no, sense. Well, what if you're like in a bathroom? If no, 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 wait, no, no, stop, it's gonna, stop. It's not gonna stop. be dirty. Oh, okay. It's not gonna be okay, dirty, okay. You're the, and it's not gonna be worth it either. So maybe okay, I should well, nail. Yeah. You're, you're the. You're at the Lafuanza waiting room. Lafuanza? Yeah, you're in. in, in oh, Lufthansa. Lufthansa. I don't have. Yeah, Lafuanza. I didn't know. Where, ooh, that's right. Frankie Lafuanza. And, and they say, that's what I'm talking about. My favorite comedian, Frankie Lafuanza. Frankie Lafuanza. But they go, would you like to go to the restroom? And you go. I, no, I need to take a quick uh, poo Paul, which is what I thought you said. <laughs> That's how long it took me to go from not wanting to say it to saying it and then ruining just a uh, great... I wish you, you brought the crying guitar. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's, no, it it's was having fun. a breakdown now. No, it was fine. What's the strangest thing you ever did throughout your stand-up uh, lives? I got beaten up by an audience. <laughs> Is that for real? Yeah, yeah. I was in Dunfermline in Scotland. I was really drunk. And I'm from, it's from the East Coast, and I am from the West Coast of Scotland. And I opened up my act with going, Hey, where I come from, they call all you people here sheep shaggers, which is ridiculous. I thought, oh, that's terrible. And now I've been here for a while. I've seen your women. I understand why you're like that. And they go, really? Uh, Man. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute. In my defense. In my defense, I was drunk. Well, also, I have seen their women, and my first response was, ew, which is a sheep kind of sound. It's a sheep kind of a sound, yeah. It's we like, have a lot in common. Uh, we, we both oh, that's a cow, isn't it? Uh. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's wrong and it's hot. Um, <laughs> sorry. But you yeah. were fabulous that, that You night. were great, although I had to go before you went on. But it was fantastic to see. <laughs> Sounds like a bad bachelor party. No, no, you know who was, you know who was nice that night? Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel's a lovely guy. Lovely. Did lovely the auction. Lovely guy, and, yeah. Uh, made a lot of money. Yeah. He's... Everybody, Bill, Bill Bellamy, Jeff Ross, and uh, Jeff Garland, all friends of mine. Yeah, Jeff Garland's a funny guy. He said, can I come on your show? I said, yeah, Jeff, any time. He said, I, I, get, I want to come on and promote Game of Thrones. I said, great, but... <laughs> Are you in it? He said, no, I've got nothing to do with it. I just enjoy it. <laughs> He'll I said, you want to come on and, and talk about Game of Thrones? He said, yeah, people should be watching it. It's great. I said, I think people are watching it. He's like, no, I, I should come on and promote it. Yeah, I want to promote the new Star Trek movie right now. Okay. okay. Have, have you seen it yet? Not at all. Okay, right. <laughs> But I also wanted to say happy birthday to you, because you oh, and I have a you, thing. We birthday, have a, yeah. we have May 17th yeah, uh, yeah. is our birthday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey. You're, not, you're, yeah. very, you're very strong. Yeah, I'm very strong. You because that alone, although like our, our birthday is on the same day, yours was a few years before mine, so... My, yeah, I'm sorry. Meow! Yeah. <laughs> <You get, laughs> so when I'm doing this, you're like a macho, and I'm like, girl power. I yeah, yeah, that's it. 
No, I think I actually punched a little too hard. <laughs> Bob, don't. Bob, don't. Please, let's go to dinner. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> do you have, so it's Enya has our birthday. Trent Reznor? Yes. Yeah. Sugar uh, Ray Leonard. I'm born to the bitch. Trent's wife is here. Um, <laughs> And uh, uh, the great Dennis Hopper had this birthday. Yeah, and he was the one that we like to. Daniel. Oh, 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 oh. We'll be right back with Bob Saga, everybody. Everybody, welcome back. I'm here with uh, Sir Robert Saget. It's just been announced Bob. Bob is being knighted by the Queen of England for services to comedy, isn't it? Yes, I, I went up to her and she said, knight. <laughs> Basically telling me to leave. I didn't realize it. What, the Queen? Do you know the Queen? Or no, it was just queen? some dude on Santa Monica, but I... <laughs> he said knight. I said all. <laughs> Please talk. Bring out your guitar that gently <laughs> weeps, Bob. What's the worst gig you ever had? Beaten up, is what you're saying? Beaten up, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the worst one you ever had? I was in Alaska in Anchorage with, uh, I was told to do this gig for cash. I was like 23, and Kevin Nealon and I went with another comedian, and we worked a strip club. Ah. And, uh, they, and at that time in Anchorage, pot and guns were legal, uh, which was uh, <laughs> it's a lovely combination when you're performing. It certainly uh, keeps things lively in a civic uh, environment. And it was, it was a small civic area, mm. and uh, this lovely lady came out with pie pans over herself and over her nether regions, and she had matches taped to them, just scotch taped to them, and she blew herself out uh, and then said, and now the comedy of Bob Saget. <laughs> And I got paid cash. Yeah. yeah. And Kevin Neal Nealon, who's a wonderful guy, we went on Very a funny guy, around, yeah. around Alaska. And the other comedian, uh, we stayed in like some comedy condo thing, and he stayed in the in the trailer with the strippers. I think he got the good deal. <laughs> Which other comedian are we talking about? I, I don't. Tiny remember. little Drew Carey. Is Can't that what we're talking about? <laughs> anyway, we're out of time, Bob. Well, how can that be? Uh, well, you know, the universe began with a giant bang, I and understand. then, you know... All right. I, apparently. I don't know. It might have happened, uh, I don't, whatever you believe. Well, if it was a giant bang, then there... No! Pop second, everybody! We're, 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 we're. Wait there, wait there, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. My, my next guest is nominated for a Grammy for his album, <laughs> That's What I'm Talking About. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is my Grammy nominated album. I'm so happy to be here. I'm very happy you're here, Bob, and I'm very happy you get nominated for your album. It's so much smaller than yours. Yeah, it is. I see that. I'm surprised they're in the same category, because look at your album. But oddly, when we're home alone together, it's a different kind of sizing. <laughs> two things, two things, Bob. One, yes. I've never been to your home. No, that's true. But... And two, you, I've never seen your PP, so don't say... <laughs> I'm really sorry that I started this way. Look, you're uh, sick, and I feel a little scared to catch what you have. Oh, well, okay. Here, right. here, you get some of that on you. Thank you. This is actually filled with your phlegm, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> and you are feeling it's not squirting. Oh. Again, things we, things <laughs> that, we don't... I've had that problem before. <laughs> here, here's this one. You did. Here, it takes this a gentle not... touch to get this one to squirt. <laughs> Where did you... See, I got it to work, but then again, Bob, I'm that's, European. That's... <laughs> and... Where'd you get this? The 44 cent store? Yeah. This is, that's the best joke on my comedy album CD. I'm very proud of you, and I was excited when uh, you're pretty much the person. I had a friend call me up the top. <laughs> Let us pray that we stay clean. Um, I had a friend, I can't count them apart. What is in that? Um, I had a, a friend. I had a friend. That's it. Yeah, well. That's my whole story. That was my panel. 
Oh, may I have that? Yeah, sure, here. Let me uh, just run that down to the lab. No, it's, uh... Oh, my oh, God. God. <laughs> Is there anything in there? Yes, there is. No, do you want some? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Gonna get some tofu and uh, oh no, come, no, on, come on! So you had a friend. I did and, have a friend. Uh, you guys went off somewhere and <laughs> we, uh, we and discovered off. yourselves. And they, they caught us behind a dumpster. So and, um, no, and he call, he uh, texted me. I was out to dinner and said you got nominated for a Grammy uh, for your comedy album. That's what I'm talking about. And I said you, he didn't say all that. I just tried to add that right. I uh, so that yeah to plug it. And then I said that's not true. And then I went right to Twitter. And then uh, I said, is this real? Is this good? And you went, yes, Bob, it's good. Because <laughs> I was quite not understanding it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a very good thing. Yeah, and then I tweeted, you tweeted that you were holding smokes or something, that you were you used some interesting word like you use, like flaboingen or something. Or flaboingen something. is probably Boingen. what I said. <laughs> flaboingen! <laughs> something Dutch and Jewish, you know, <laughs> which uh, Michael doesn't like because of his no, racism. He's a racist. Yeah, yeah I was Terrible. Uh, yeah. Terrible. I, would, yeah, yeah. I would not like to have seen him at Ellis Island. Um... <laughs> Well, if he would, if he'd have been at Ellis Island, none of us would have gone in. No. He'd have been like, no, no, go back, no, he no. Can you say it again, but not dirty? <laughs> he, I've known him a long time. Though he might have given me a sandwich, then sent me back to the old country, something like that. Sure. So I got the tweet. So I look at your Twitter, and then I say, uh, you know, can I'll listen to yours if you listen to mine. Yeah. And you said, no, we are still deadly enemies. Yes, yeah, absolutely. But I, I will have lunch with you on Tuesday. Yeah, and I, 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 we had lunch, and it was lovely, and, and we had delicious. the same thing. We had exactly the same thing. Yeah. What was her name? <laughs> Bob, we're both in our 50s now, man. It just sounds creepy. It's, it sounded creepy no matter what age. Yeah, I'd that's been at. true. Yeah, but, but it sounds extra but, creepy the older you get. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. You have the same birthday though, of course. We do. Yeah, uh, except you're 17. older than me. I am older than you, and I will always be that. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you discover something new. I mean, uh, Jeff's capable of sending you into a future time that you don't want to go to. I wasn't aware of that. I thought he was just a crappy appliance that was plugged into the wall. I didn't know he had all these. Uh, ex kiss my flaboygan. <laughs> He's a $7 sidekick. I've never seen yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, uh, are you excited about getting a Grammy then? Do you, gonna, you think a... you're going to get it? <laughs> <laughs> Put an echo on it. Oh, 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 oh. We ain't getting Grammys, no, that was neither a, one of us. That was the, the point of the lunch was yeah. that. That was our celebratory. Nominee. Yeah, we might as well do it now. Just yeah. the two of us. Have you, do you, but does it matter to you, these award things? Did I'm they, really excited. I, have, I was nominated for, I think, you know, I got a Student Academy Award when I was 21. Really? Yeah. I so that, that. Uh, what was that for? That was, I don't know. Full no, House? It was for a, a film I made called Through Adam's Eyes. So it was a student film. Oh, right. So it's been that gap. So it's like a 30-year gap to get to. Yeah, you must have won a bunch this, for Full House. There must have been like Emmys and stuff. Yeah, I got stuff. They, they gave me stuff like signs, stay away, you know. Ah, <laughs> come on. A lot of court orders. You didn't um, no, come on, man. <laughs> no, we weren't nominated. That show, believe it or not, it wasn't. You'd think of People's Choice Award or something because it's kids. Yeah. But pe people didn't like it when it first started. Now people are obsessed with the uh, Full House. Well, once shows that. go off the air, people like them more. That's Because they, they have more hipster value. That was my place to put a dig in about you, but I can't. Yeah, I know. I left it wide open. I thought, what yeah. the hell, man? Are you taking the night off or no, what? No, I'm, I'm a giant fan and friend of yours, and, and you talked to me during my moment of Grammy nomination. It meant a lot to me. Ah, you were excited, man. too. I am excited. You, I'm excited I, to be nominated. But, but you can't go thing, to it. You what? can't go to No, the, I can't. I got a gig in uh, Canada. Where's but, the gig? You want to say where? So maybe I'll go to it. Uh, it's, uh, it's, in, uh, it's a Canadian town. <laughs> <laughs> we can add it later. Oh, no, we can't. We're live. Damn it. I saw something today that yeah. was really weird. Like, I'm going to make a right turn on Beverly from Highland, right? So just like, just, just a right turn, busy traffic, and there's an old lady going across the road. So I stop, right, to let her go by, and she stops too and looks at me, and I'm like, it's okay, on you go. And she went like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I started laughing, and she did it again. She was really angry at me. That's so strange. Yeah, and then I realized it was probably you. No. I know that because I wasn't wearing a dress today. That's why I know that. But she, uh, okay, I was. But, all right. But I can't believe somebody flipped you off like that. You deserve, yeah. maybe, she got to be People a do fan. it all the time in L.A., don't they? People you can't, you can't do it. I flipped off a guy once, and because tailgating's been really bad, all the people, have been, it's gotten worse. I, right, it's because people are texting all the time. I called, I've called 911 a couple times, seriously. And, really? And they said, where's the person? And then I said, well, they're at uh, Hillguard now, but they'll be at the 405 and 40 seconds. Right. And uh, it was me. 
Call 911 on yourself? No, I... You're an attention whore. No, I... That is true. Well, that... that I, I actually... That just, I actually am an attention deficit whore. Uh, yeah, I really... I, I need... I need to say something quickly. Uh, you need to say something quickly? That's what it is. Oh, That's no, what. listen, I... Uh, you know what I remember? I, it was about Christmas. I was uh, in <laughs> Scotland. I was in Scotland over the Christmas period. And you and I... Uh, were... Getting the flu. Right. And, um, in a castle? Was that where you were? In a, in a castle, yeah. Is that because you wear a kilt? Is that the truth? Because if you, if you wore a onesie, if you wore a onesie, you would not... <laughs> if you wore a onesie, you would not have no flu. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say properly. <laughs> But you had your, you had you your should, package. You should tweet that out, homie. I can't. I got to If untweet. you was a onesie, <laughs> then you wouldn't have no flu. They, they're not going to let me go to the Grammys. <laughs> yeah, they'll let you go. They won't let you in, but they'll let you go. I'm bringing Look, my, I'm bringing, uh, fit, so fit, fit, anyway, so I'm in, in the middle of the night, because Scotland is eight hours ahead, and I get a tweet from you and John Mayer, who yes. are at the Chateau Marmont, saying, hey, come on over. I'm yeah, like, we, wait, we, what, I'm. I have kids. I'm not going to the Chateau Marmont with you and John Mayer. I have kids, but they're grown up. Well, your kids are grown up. My kids are still asleep in bed, beautiful and innocent. Oh, it's L.A. Just, just bring them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got the kids. You, you kids want a shot? Yeah. No, we wouldn't be So are you buddies that. with John Mayer? Yeah, we've been friends a while. Yeah. He does, he does stand-up once in a while. He's done my benefit that John you have Mayer done. John Mayer does stand-up? He does just with uh, a couple times with me. He's, he's very funny. Is he really? Yeah. But you've done the Slurdum of Research Foundation benefit, and he's done it. So it's uh, people that help. I didn't know he did stand up though. That'd be interesting it's to funny. see that. He's a funny guy. I, I hope he's not good. He's he's got like eight Grammys. He like won them. Yeah, but that's for singing and playing music. Crikey, been brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to go to lunch together. <laughs> I'm taking yeah. my daughter to it. You'll be uh, doing a gig, and I'll be taking my daughter to you the You take your daughter to the Grammys? Yeah, one of them. So the other two are feeling a little dissed, probably. <laughs> that's, that's the right thing to do. Divide and conquer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it took me... When you're a really smart dad, you eventually do have to pick your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more painting tips from Bob Saga. Everybody, I'm here with Bob Saget. We were discussing cold and flu remedies. Because uh, yeah. I've got a cold and a flu. Is it a cold or a flu that I've got, Dr. Saget? You, you, you Dr. F what? Dr. Saget. <laughs> you, you, you feed a cold and you starve a fever and you do them uh, rectally. That's what I learned as a child. How do you so. starve yourself rectally, Bob? Well, you'd put nothing in your butt for a day, but you... Um, I'm afraid I'm not prepared to go that far. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of that contest. <laughs> no, you gotta, I guess you gotta eat when you're sick. Have you been eating? Yeah, sure, I eat all the time. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a fever right now? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, let, me, let me check it, turn around. <laughs> so that's... If you're gonna do that, then I'll have to twerk while you're taking my temperature. You have a Sharpie, I wanna draw numbers on my fingers. No, so no, like, no, no, no. What? They came here, they're so upset. <laughs> So, get better. Uh, and, you too. And thanks, and happy... <laughs> <laughs> Bob Saget, everybody. Thank right now. Thanks, everybody. Give me a little time to get my breath back. My first guest tonight is a very funny guy. <laughs> what is he doing here, then? <laughs> Clerical error. Yeah, I understand, I understand. He's the author of a new book, Dirty Daddy, The Chronicles of a Family Man Turned Filthy Comedian. It's true. <laughs> it's in stores now. Bob Saget, everybody! Bob Saget! Robert oh, Saget. Love Bob, Bob, Bobbity, Bob, Bob, Bob. How? Are you look crack great. It, crack. That's all. I was laying in bed just waiting for this. I was laying there holding my book. I had a mic on. I got the call. I'm so happy to be yeah, here. Yeah, well, I'm very glad you're here. Actually, you know that uh, Dennis Miller was going to be here, yeah. and Dennis has got strep throat. Get well soon, Dennis. Yeah. Ah. Um, but Please get well. I, I actually sent something to his house, and he, he drank it. Because I wanted to promote... You, you, wouldn't be the, you wouldn't be the first. And, uh, 
I wanted to promote my book so bad. Well, and it's good. And we wanted someone who was a political hot potato like Dennis. Right. And that, I have hot potatoes. You have hot potatoes. I, the doctor Are you referencing your them. testicles? Uh, it's all nah. I start at my testicles and I end at my prostate. <laughs> good night, everybody. Thanks so much. <laughs> Great to see you all. The Thank thing you. that a lot of people don't understand about you, Bob, is you actually are a very filthy man. You and I have been friends for a very long time. And mm. you are also kind of filthy, but I'm Well, going... they know I'm filthy. Right, but because I did family television, right. it's like an opposite day shock to people, but I've been doing that since I'm 17, the comedy part of, mm -hmm. of being odd and weird humor. And dirty. Yeah, but you're kind of like that, and you're, we have a similar sense of humor. Well, we were born on the same day. It's exactly the That's same day. That's true. As Although you were born a number of years before me on many, that same many. day. I'm old. I'm, I'm 78. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, uh, you look good, though. I have a painting at home that's rotting. Because, you know, there's a Dorian Gray. There's you wouldn't Dorian, know. You're very Dorian young. Gray, they but they don't know. They, a lot of these people are from out of town. No. I, I'm all for out of town. Let's hear it for out of town. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to take control. <laughs> you didn't. So look, <laughs> you're very good at this, by the way. Uh, well, thank you. I, I don't know that I. Uh, you're very good at this. I mean, well, you, you write stuff down. It's I, funny. It's I, rude. It took it's a year and a half to uh, just to read it for me. But no, I actually took. Is this you as a as a youngster? Yes, it is. It's, what a beautiful. I yeah. have no idea you used to be a girl. Yeah, I was. <laughs> well, uh, used to be. Yeah, you I'm look a, so lovely. I was a nice little girl. I was nine, and uh, it was it was a nice childhood. I had a, I had a lot of things happened in it. If you had such a nice childhood, how come you ended up a stand-up comedian? Whenever I hear a stand-up comedian say my childhood was great, I went, yeah, you need therapy, pal, because well, obviously was. The, the truth of it is, at nine, it changed. Right, what a, happened? A, a lot of deaths. So uh, my father lost his brothers at, at nine, 11, 13. I was that old, and they were all dying of like, heart attacks at uh, 37, 40. And so I got weird and uh, yes yes that's and what happened. I started doing stand up when I was 17 and uh, that's a lot too of young. and that's that was young mm -hmm. and I did a lot of a lot of clubs and then I started to have weird humor my, one of my first jokes was I have the brain of a german shepherd and the body of a 16 year old boy and they're both in my car and I want you to see them <laughs> now that's odd that's really odd and I was 17 and then cut to I'm on full house as the dad yeah <laughs> But Which is a dream. Happened. It's a dream nice thing. Yeah, it was great. And uh, yeah. you actually created the Olsen twins in a lab, right? Uh, was, uh, everything is for my, my cells. <laughs> Everything's been created. Careful, Bob. Uh, no, nothing. I, You've I, never I, done jokes about the Olsen twins, have you? I've not. I've skirted them. What? I've, um... <laughs> I love them. They're like, uh, they're a year older than my oldest daughter and we're all friends. So you, did, did you teach them to do your bidding? Like if you... My if bidding? You, yeah, your bidding. Like oh, sorry. If, I, if an Olsen twin answers the phone and you say the certain word, they go, kill the queen, and they have to go and do it? <laughs> no. Oh. They're, they're, I mean, what's the point, man? They're, they're, uh, there's actually a chapter about Full House in this book because uh, they're, they're, I'm close with them. They're really sweet. I'm close with all the people from that show. A little too close with Stamos, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I mean, you know, I think Stamos don't may have been. That's a horrible picture. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. No, don't, 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 don't. No, stop, stop. Yeah. I, I had a comb over at 12. Yeah, look at that. Those were welding glasses. Yeah. I could actually. I could <laughs> Hello, lady. I could, I could fix him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like Sorry, you to. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to fix him? Yeah, I'd like him fixed. But this, was, this, is a book, <laughs> this is a book about uh, comedy and death, and, and my testicles come up a lot. It is not for kids. It's a 15 year old and above book, I would say. Well, well this is. What's that's that? A, that's a messed up thing. I don't think I should tell the story. No, don't. No, don't, Bob. It's a troll if you Bob. think it's messed up, yeah, yeah. then it's messed it's up. A, you got I just saw the word dildo in here. I don't think no, you should no, tell the story. No, no, that's not there. Yeah, I, I, tr okay, I'll tell the story very quick. I'll well, make it yeah, clear. tell the story. Then. All right, that's a naked troll doll. When I was six, this, I shouldn't tell the story. I'm gonna do it. It'll be fine. You won't have to cut it. You won't have to uh, pixelate my mouth or my hands. I saw Ricky Gervais the other night. It looked like Scrabble. It was, uh, it was. He, that's you who guys Ricky is. Hilarious. That's who Ricky is. You, it was adorable too. Yeah, I loved he it. He is adorable. I watched it a few times. No, shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> But that, that was a, a next door neighbor girl, uh, not her. But, that uh, you lived next door to a, to a girl to, that looked like this? She was a troll. She lived under a bridge. Is that one of the Olsen twins no. early on? No. Well, then tell no. the damn story, Bob. Well, I traded the girl. To, I've never, never seen a girl before. I was like six, and she was like four, and I'd never seen a girl in the garage, and I asked her to show me her. I was a kid, and I traded her a troll doll. 
And then... Bob, 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 Bob. But don't, was... don't, don't tell the story, Bob. Don't tell, don't tell the story, I Bob. Six. Oh, six. there's a better story. Look, it's you and Stamos doing some, <laughs> something, something... Uh... Yeah, we did a, we did a cuddle, cuddle video for Project Cuddle, which is one of his... Oh, yeah, Project Cuddle. Yeah, no, but that's uh... for kids. Oh, it is? Yeah. <laughs> it's really... You don't want to go there. I just got back from Australia. How do you like that? It was great. <laughs> you know what happened? Oh, I hey, been anywhere lately? I, can you believe I traveled on a plane? Oh, what? I, I thought you just bought a house. Oh, no, the house is good. I traded the troll doll for a house. No. <laughs> I went to Australia and you know, <laughs> you, know, you know the flight is 14 hours? What? Hello. And so they told me, you leave at 11 in the morning and you arrive at 7 in the morning the same day. So, where's the missing sock? So I, so I realized, if anybody's listening, that if you go back, you go back in time, you land before you took off. How does, how does that happen? If you keep doing it, you can go back in time until Australia was just, you know, convicts from England going, oh, but I, I. It's a penal colony when you a finally A penal colony? What kind of a colony is that? Where well, you put your penal. We'll be right back for more hilarious antics. <laughs>it's like you know it's it's we're the back. Truth. yeah yeah oh we're back <laughs> no we were just talking about you know cuz uh, you know we're in our 50s i'm 52 you're 58 58 yeah i just had my odometer set back <laughs> so and we were talking about how you know you got to be cool with it cuz there's no other option right you have to you, you have, have to, to cool. enjoy your life cuz life is just uh, difficult for many people so you I should wanna... put that on a t-shirt man yeah i'm going to put it on the back <laughs> i don't know what that means it just sounds wrong. Well, putting, putting, get a tattoo. Get a tattoo. Oh, I'm gonna get a tramp stamp of it. <laughs> I have Live a... for the day, just above your ass crack. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I could, I could, I could have used it yesterday. Hello. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking for a cut point for you. <laughs> uh, ah, you're all right. You can't cut a live show, Bob. No, that's true. <laughs> Oh, that's right. It's so late. I'm so tired. But the, 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 the I had a. <laughs> well, you just come in from Australia. By the way, how about that Melbourne? That's a great city. Melbourne, what a city! I love that city. Actually. I do too. Yeah, I actually love Sydney too, and also the town. In I, was, I was, yeah. I was, I was in Sydney. Uh, and also the town. town in Australia. And, yeah, I know. Uh, just the comedy rules. You have to do it. But, but you know, the, you go uh, back in time and you come back. What? What? And you go they... back in time. So if you go to Australia and come back, it's like horses and carrots. Yeah. And you know what else they say? They say, don't congregate around the restroom. Now, who would do that? Why would you want to inhale? What? Oh, How on an airplane, congregate yeah. around the restroom? They say that. They made an announcement, don't congregate around the restroom. Well, it's like, been a lot of What that chicken Sydney ate was good. Oh, <laughs> Sydney, what? I brought Sydney back. Now, listen, we're going to be flying back in time, so I don't want any of you blokes hanging around the restroom there. <laughs> I, I really loved Australia. It was well, it's really an amazing like, place. The, the lucky like a, country, mate. It was, no, and they great. said all that stuff, but I didn't want to go, you know, down under jokes and all that stuff. I just wanted to entertain them. I did a, a tour, and it was really quite Down lovely. under jokes? It's I down did. under jokes, Shrimp and Barbie, Good Day, all that stuff. And then I didn't, and I, it, I didn't meet anyone either, so it was... Um, <laughs> I walked into my room. I know you want to know this story. In, uh, in, in Melbourne. I love and there you, was, man. I love you a lot. <laughs> well, you know I love you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know I love you. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking... It's getting weird. That's... <laughs> Um, I'm comfortable with this. Okay. So I walk into my room in Melbourne. I lift the lid off a beautiful thing that's there, and it's all kinds of meats. It's uh, what do you mean a beautiful thing? Well, it was my birthday, and you tweeted me I on, did, on our birthday. Uh, yeah, I always tweet you. And on I was birthday. so excited because it was actually the real day of my birthday. Because, I think I texted you. I, was I didn't day, tweet you. I texted you. We texted each other. Right. And then you did tweet too. Oh, did I? Uh, Trent Raz. Who's the other? Trent Reznor. Yeah, right. and Anya. <gasps> oh. <laughs> no. Um, 
right. Sugar Ray Leonard also. Same, Sugar Ray Leonard. Same day and age as me. Uh, exactly. And also um, somebody else. Well, Dennis Hopper was. was the great uh, Dennis, Dennis Hopper. Uh, yeah, I love Dennis. Uh, so the thing was, there was a giant, back to me, there was a giant plate of meat in my room. Like mm. weird. Weird you don't, meat? You don't eat meat a lot. You do eat meat? Yeah. I've had a lot of faro with you. Like we've had, you eat good barley things when you eat. You have a, must have a great colon. <laughs> I've got a movie of it if you want to see it, actually. I, please. I'm going to add it to my reel. <laughs> Bob, we're out of time. Okay. Bob Saget, everybody. Thank you, Bob. He's an actor, he's a producer, he's a director, he's a writer of a book called Dirty Daddy, which is available in paperback now. He's got his own website entitled Sexy Bob. Yeah. <laughs> that last bit's a lie. It's Bob right. Saget, everybody! Bob It was like a nightmare there, just as we were dancing around, and then you said, I'm gonna tip you. And I was like, no! And you went, Ooh, and I was like, ah! And I didn't, I didn't drop you, which is a miracle. You didn't drop me because I put my leg behind me in a rather ungraceful tripod stance. Which means, which means you have obviously done some adult film work. I have done adult film work. To go into that but tripod. But the, the way I approach it is I, uh, I run the adult film, and then I work. <laughs> On myself. <laughs> Hence my thin wrists. So there's a lot. That's a good uh, aerobics. Uh, to be it is. Do you have a bit of a cold? You sound a little hacky. I'm, I'm, a, I'm hacky in general. No, I mean a little. Uh -huh. Yeah, I had a thing. I had a throat thing, and I slept for uh, 72 hours, and um, I hung upside down like a bat. Why? Because that'll hurt your throat. That's what hurt your throat. You shouldn't do that. I like to defy gravity. As my parts get older, I like when they hang. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, at me. Yeah. I'm a trip down memory lane. There you are, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm more like a fighter. You know. Yeah. I just, I use it as a, you know, a little, a little bag. Yeah, yeah. No, they don't want to hear it, Bob. Well, I do want to say. <laughs> Which is a great edit point. Oh yeah, sure. That I I have feelings about this departure of yours, and uh, I where am I going? Bit, I'm a bit. You're going to many places. You've got two shows and a castle. You got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and I, I'm like I'm I'm like a crazy rich millionaire. And you <laughs> and and you eat like not, like healthy I, food. I eat healthy food. Farrow, and, but I still have my birthday. On the 17th of May. Which is also, also my birthday. Also. And Enya. Also. Sugar Ray Leonard. Also. Dennis Hopper. Also. Other people didn't. Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor. You uh, always forget I Trent always Reznor. Do. What you is always do. I don't know why Trent Reznor's the only one of us who's talented. You're correct. <laughs> but I'm going to raise that bar the more I hang upside down and drop my baggage and punch it like a punching bag. See, when an audience gets no response, that's when I keep working on no, it. No, no, no. That, that's no, my, it, that's that, my is, job. That's not no response, Bob. That's shock. That's a completely different thing. That's not no response like, uh, that's, it's like I this. I see. It's not a neck. <laughs> that's how I feel my last look will be as I'm going out on this earth. A lot of us go out like that. <laughs> that's not a, that's not a, one more thing. <laughs> what if you're laughing? What if you're watching something? I hope I am. I hope when that tank comes, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am going to miss, I mean, I never really cared about Jeff that much, but I like him. There's something I like about him. Well, they... I mean, it's funny. He makes me laugh. And that... A penis punching bag. I... <laughs> oh, why... yeah. 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 That's why I'm going to miss you. Uh -oh. And you have, you don't have, uh, do you have nuts? Yeah, I've got them. Yeah, they're not here, but yeah, I've got yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and, and is that thing, that's a female. Four, that's a horse with four testicles right there. Whoa. Four testicles, two penises. I think penises is a, is a plural. I've never had to use it. And a, uh, 
So I don't know. You're, you're saying you've never had uh, four penises uh, around you, or? Oh, I've had many around me, but they're usually they're usually covered in pants. <laughs> We're shaking hands and smoking pipes like gentlemen. <laughs> so it's just you solo in a smoking jacket, if you will, and there's... No, four... you're trying to make everything a porn movie, and it, not everything is a porn movie. You're just saying you're shaking hands with random penises. And I'm not shaking hands with penises. I'm shaking hands with gentlemen who, I assume, for reasons of biology, will probably have penises tucked away somewhere in the nether regions. <laughs> may, I, may I just say... <laughs> I'm enjoying how myself, How can you Bob. call them gentlemen if you're... Uh, their vi penises are But they're visual. not in there. They're, they're in there. I'm this? talking about Philly. Gonna, is he, are they going to examine? No, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. I'm going to miss that cup. You know, yeah, well, it's it's coming with me. I, 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 everything, all of this, I'm taking all of it all into of, my all new of apartment. This? All of this, all of this, <laughs> this land of wonder, uh, so, this TV equivalent of a Rite Aid, I am taking with me. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm taking all of it, all of it. I'm going to put it in my new apartment. Where's that going to be? Des Moines. That's... <laughs> You can get there. It's I, I like I like Des Moines. Have you ever been to Des Moines? I've been actually had to go there. I went through Cedar Rapids. Did you play the did, oh. did you play the Hoyt Sherman Theater? No, I think it was closed that year. No, Hoyt Sherman Good. Theater. That's the one. Hoyt Sherman was a famous realtor in Vermont. <laughs> no, you, uh, not Vermont, Iowa. And and Des Moines, which is not far from Davenport. There the there's the uh, the four cities, the quad cities. The quad cities. And you know why they call them that? Because they worked on their quads. Four testicles. Ah. <laughs> They are the four testicles a gateway to the west. You know, that reminds me of a story. Um, oh, God, no, does it? <laughs> it really does. I, was I really was hoping I that was, things wouldn't it, remind you of stories. It'll be a short story. No, oh, like, God. Probably. Why, Bob? Why? Because, because I got through ten years with nobody saying that reminds me of a story. And now you, Bob, et tu, Bob, et tu. I think this is Bob, et <laughs> And you know what? Tell the story. Come on, tell I, the story. I choose to follow that. <laughs> okay. At two testicles, yes, Bob. Okay. So I'm in a restaurant and Russell Crowe comes over. So it's a name dropping oh, story. Oh, boom, right there. Like right Good eye, mate. How are you yeah. doing? Our gladiator, shrimpy Barbie. I'm just adding some. <laughs> yeah, put another shrimp on the Barbie gladiator. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right he you, loves it when you say did that. You like the, yeah. Did you like the shrimp? I'm gladiator. That'll be. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a female shrimp. Yeah, I got it. So Russell Crowe comes over and he goes, hello, Bob Saget. So he said, my name is Two Parts, which scared me a little because he's strong. Yeah, yeah. And he <laughs> said, I have a joke for you, and I'm not telling it right at all. He said, what did the man with four penises say when he was five penises say when he was asked by his doctor, how do your shorts fit? And I said, like a glove. Right. And that's the punchline. That's the, the joke. joke. I know that I joke. I said, like a glove. Yeah, yeah. And Russell Crowe said, you gave away the punchline, Bob Saget. <laughs> said, you, you weren't supposed to give away the punchline. And then, uh, then, he, then he gutted me. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I would have never been reminded of that story, except for the quadrupenia that you've been bringing up. And quadrupenia? Quadrupenia is a quadrupenia. musical by the who? Yeah, the who. The who, what, and where, and you're... you're hey! You can climb a mountain no, like that. No, Bob, Bob! No, if you had to climb a mountain, and there was nothing but your buddies climbing up, and all they had was... And they were excited about reaching the top. Yeah! You plan it. They take Viagra before they go. Mm -hmm. You then... Bro, please. I like this plan, Bob. Please. I like it a lot. Please. I like it a lot, Bob. Please change the subject, please. I'm trying to, Bob, but you please. keep going back to the old gentleman. Please, do anything. I'm, I'm trying to, Bob. I'm, actually, what I'm trying to do, Bob, is wrap the rocket up and go to no. a commercial break, but you won't let it happen, Bob. Yeah. I want to pay homage to you. I want to pay you in cheese. No, that's from Roma. It's from. I want to say how uh, wonderful that you are at Do this job. Do you have to, Bob? Do you really and have how to? How much I respect you, and I have your number, and you and I can see each other. But I'd rather say it publicly in front of these nice, shocked people <laughs> that you <laughs> that you are a, a genuinely good person. And I've I've even seen you when you're in a bad mood. And I turned over to you that morning, and I said, "What did I say? What did I do?" And Bob!
speaking of, I'm not, not I'm kidding about that, but I but get the Bob, Bob Saget. You see Bob Saget by I stage? I saw Bob He's Saget. He's hanging around tonight for some and, reason. And uh, I actually had a blind date with him once. Stop it, really? Yeah. It wasn't really Dude, blind. Yeah, well, that's how I'm getting to that, yeah. Anyway, it was, it was very, very, uh, you know, mild-mannered. We had dinner. He was really nice, kind of lovably neurotic, as you can probably tell. No, I, I know Bob. I've and, known him for a while. And that but was, I've never had a blind date with him no. or slept with him. Kidding. I didn't sleep with him. Uh, <laughs> I never said like, you did. I never said you did. I just, just say I haven't. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Did we, you think we, about it? No, no, oh, come no. Come on. No, no, no. We, we had one date, went out to dinner. It was very nice, but apparently there wasn't a lot of magic. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> but he's a really funny, nice guy. Don't was you this think? when he was doing um, America's Funniest Home Videos? No, I think it was past that. All right, because yeah, you could yeah, have hit yeah. him in the nuts with something, and that would have been great, because... <laughs> You know, people in the America's Funniest Home Videos, they always get hit in the nuts with things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's going on with you anyway, Katie? What's uh, happening on the news?